Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of The Love Connection with me, Taj B, your international matchmaker and relationship consultant. Happy Friday guys to each and every one of you and a special super duper happy Friday to my girl Keisha who is a very big fan of the show. We love you girl as much as you love us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for all the love. Little sis told me that you enjoyed that stuff the other day and you know I got you girl and I also want you to know that I am very 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 proud of you i'm proud of your career the way you're raising your children and everything you keep it up all right so you guys watch the social media post so you know what we're here to talk about today spring cleaning for your relationship because it is springtime and spring is a time for renewal time to get rid of the baggage and junk and things generally holding you down in your life, right? And the same can be done for your relationship. There are things holding your relationship back from greatness, and this is a season to clear them out. So let's talk about what those things are. Let's get started. We've got resentment. Resentment is holding a lot of our relationships and our love life back from being great, from having the joy that we deserve, okay? So how can we let go of the resentment? You need to figure out why you actually hurt. What has actually hurt your feelings? Why do you actually feel this way? What can you do about it? How do you address it? Sometimes we're upset. Like for instance, we feel like we're upset because our woman is late, right? Like she's taking long to get ready. Then all of a sudden we jump up and start cussing her about how dirty she is. But the problem wasn't that she was late. The problem is that you're angry about her untidiness. So that is where resentment gets to boil over and bubble up and ruin our lives and ruin our relationships. So how do we clear it out? Talk about it. Have a discussion. Discuss with your partner the things that are upsetting you, the things that are bothering you, the things that you feel that they have done directly against you to hurt you. And that's how we sweep that resentment out of the way. And don't be bringing up, like, I mean, you're going to feel bad when you're bringing up old stuff that happened so long ago. But if that old stuff is still bothering you, this is resentment eating away at your relationship. And you have a right to clear that away, especially if you're renewing your love for springtime. Boundaries, old and new. So we, spring is a great time to go over the old boundaries. Do they still work for us? Are we paying attention to those boundaries? Are we listening to those boundaries? Are we using those boundaries to form our relationship? Those are the old ones. Do we still need these boundaries? Can we get rid of them now? Are we beyond this now? Or do we need to bring back these old boundaries because now our relationship is going in a different stage and those old boundaries were necessary for happiness, right? New boundaries, it's spring, so maybe now it's time to bring in some new ones. What are you guys going to be doing differently now? What are some new boundaries that your love has evolved into needing? So springtime, boundary time. Awkwardness and drifting apart. So sometimes at a point in our relationships, we get to a place where we're kind of on a plateau and where we start drifting apart as individuals. And what I find is a great way to combat this is to discuss with your partner why are you guys together in the first place. So start talking about the day that you met, the first week of your relationship, your first dates, that sort of stuff helps you to get past that sort of plain plateau where you're just like you don't really you know you're feeling awkward where you can't really even hug your partner or have sex or kiss them you know because there's like a sort of space a sort of buffer between you two so the way to sweep out that awkwardness in your life and your relationship for the springtime the spring renewal is to talk about why you got together start doing like if your man usually loved whenever you rubbed his feet Maybe just surprise him with a foot rub. If your woman really loved whenever you would bring her home little candies or fruits from work, then you do that, okay? So the little things, guys, they count, and they continue to count well into the many years and later stages of our relationship. And holding on to them is what helps us to have a good, solid foundation. So what you need to clean out is the awkwardness and distance and drifting apart in your relationship. Next, we have your health and your fitness because you can't have a relationship if you're dead 
And if you're sick and you have poor health, now is a great time to address that. And you can address it as a couple. So you start taking care of your health. Maybe you guys need to start working out together, going to the gym together, or working out at home because I am a big fan of the no equipment workout. They are just as effective as spending your time in a gym. So maybe you guys don't have the money or the time to do that, but you can definitely work home together. And if you know your partner is living with an illness or a sickness, now is the time to start taking that seriously and working towards your partner's longevity here in this life, okay? So that's your health and fitness. Poor health, out the door. Good health, we want it now, right? Fitness, we want to be a good example for each other. We want to be a good example to our children and our family. And more importantly, we want to do all that we can. Because if we love each other, we want to do all that we can to extend our time together, right? Next, you're going to be addressing your fertility issues because maybe you've been trying and trying and trying to conceive for a long time now and nothing's happening and you're just continuing to sit there twiddling your thumbs. But now, spring renewal, time to dust all that unsurety out of the way. Go to the fertility doctors, go see what you need to do, go see if you actually have any issues, any problems, go see where you need the help and get it done, guys, because the longer you wait, the more of a detrimental situation you continue to put yourself in. So now is time in the spring renewal of your relationship, in the spring cleaning of your relationship, is to clean up the unsurety of whether you guys are able to have a child or not. And the best way to do that is to just bite the bullet and go to the doctors, go get your test done, and do that as a couple. This is no one person's job. You guys both want the child. You guys both are having issues conceiving whether it's been medically shown to be one person's fault or not if you love her and you love him then as a team you will work towards fixing your fertility issues if they are possible to be fixed okay then you want to deal with the milestones and making future plans so Maybe it's time for you guys to start setting some milestones like we're going to move in together. We're going to move in together. We're going to, you know, we're going to um, get married. We're going to have a child. We're going to get open a business together, whatever it might be. You know, maybe you guys are going to be getting new jobs. So spring cleaning in your relationship is a great time to start talking about the milestones you want to reach, or maybe there are milestones you have not reached, so now it's time to just get those out of the way, or now it's time to start making some future plans, or whatever it may be, right? But now it's time to add that into your relationship. Lies, secrets, and empty promises, they go along the same way. So if you've been promising the man to take him on a fishing trip up north for the past three years now, and you know that you're not able to do it and it's not going to happen, now it's time to tell the truth to him. Honey, that was an empty, broken promise that I cannot fulfill. If you know that you're hiding things, if you're currently lying to your partner or you have been lying about something very important, now in the spring cleaning of your relationship, it's time to clean those lies out of the way. Now, as you guys know, I'm not here to say that you need to be going around telling this, telling that all these unnecessary stuff that your partner really has no business knowing. This is not the time for that. But if it's something that your partner is going to find out eventually, or it was a lie that was told to hurt your partner or people that they love, you have a duty to deal with this and get these lies out of the way. Secrets eat us out from the inside out. Secrets break down our relationship, chip at our relationship, chip at our love, bit, 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 bit at a time till there is nothing left. So if you don't want that to happen to you, now it's time to clean those secrets out of your relationship for the springtime. And how do you do that? Sit them down and talk or show them. If it's something that they're going to leave you for, that's their right to decide that, that they're going to leave you. But most likely, it's probably not. And then you give them the opportunity to show them that you were honest, open, forthright, and forthcoming. So, and your finances, guys, because like I said last episode, finances will ruin an otherwise great relationship. So now is the time to start getting your finances in order. Maybe you guys need to have a savings plan. Maybe you guys need to be 
doing some investments. Maybe you guys need to be working on how you're going to be making more income together. Maybe one of you needs another job. Maybe you both need another job. Maybe you guys need to work on opening a business. Maybe you guys just need to put aside a little change at a time. Like my husband and I, we try to put aside a little cash, a little change, coins and stuff like that, you know, in a little savings pan so that we always have cash on hand. But I mean, I will admit that, you know, I sort of make that hard because I'm always going into the pan. I'm always like, oh, oh yeah, I need fear for this. Oh, OK, I need to do this. OK, this, that, that, that. And OK, I'll put some more back. And then before I know, there's nothing in there. So he can't save his little cash because of me. So you don't do that in your relationship. And now I'm going to take my own advice because it's spring. And I'm going to work harder on leaving the money in the savings pan, right? So you guys can do that too. Get your finances in order if you want your relationship to be an optimal relationship, okay? Self-improvement for a better relationship. This is my last one for the spring cleaning for your relationship, guys. Self-improvement for a better relationship because sometimes for your partnership to be better, it's just you need to get better. You need to deal with whatever your problems are. Maybe you're suffering mental health issues. Maybe you're suffering, you know, physical issues, whatever it might be. But get yourself in order. Maybe you need to go back to school so you could feel better about yourself. Maybe you need to upgrade your career. Maybe you need to just get your body right, whatever it might be. But look inwards into yourself and what are the ways that you can improve and then your relationship will improve as well. So those are my points, guys, on spring cleaning for your relationship. If you have your own and you have your own ideas and you have anything to say, I want to hear from you guys. So you put it in the comments section below. And now it is time for the segments, guys. So we're going to start with a match of the week. Woohoo! And what's that? If you're looking for a husband and wife, I am the husband and wife plug. And I am here to hook you up. So you come to me and every week I am featuring a potential wife or a potential husband. So without no further ado, let's just feature the woman. Are you ready, men? Get your pen if you want a wife and get her information down. So she is a West Indian woman, woman from Trinidad. Ooh, and she is 39 years old. She has two teenage children who live at home. She is looking for a West Indian man as well from anywhere. So coolie men, we are looking for you. Ring the alarm. She loves to fet. She wants to enjoy her life. She wants to live and live a nice family life. So if you are a coolie man from the Caribbean and this sounds like somebody you would like to spend the rest of your life with, then you know what to do. Contact me and I will see if you are a match for her. All right, girls, are you ready? I've got a Grenadian man. Shout out to my homeland, to the 473. So he is Grenadian, and he is based in Mexico. And he is a great guy. He's educated. He's employed. He's a Christian man. He's a loving man. He's a handsome man. And he's a hardworking man. So if you want such a man on your arm, girls, then you know what to do. He's open to all races and all ages. He just wants somebody who is enjoying life and somebody who wants to settle down and have kids. So if it sounds like you, get at me, girls, and I will see if he wants you. So now it is time for the Dear Taj moment. What's that? If you got your love and relationship questions, you send them in to me and I will try my best to answer them. I answer every single one personally. And if you would like me to answer on air, then you know what to do. You write answer on air when you send it in. You can find me on Instagram at The Love Connection Show. You can find me on Facebook at The Love Connection Show as well. You can find me on Twitter at Love Connect TV. And all those places, you are getting a direct link to me. All right, guys, so here it goes. So, dear Taj, my woman is so messy and I can't stand it. She doesn't like to clean up and it's so terrible. I can't have my family over because of how messy she is. She leaves dishes in the sink. She leaves clothes all over the place. She even wears her shoes all over the house. She's a good woman otherwise. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> but she even leaves things all over, everywhere, even outside. I wasn't raised like this, and I can't take it. The way I was raised, I know that the woman should be clean, but she is not. I love her, but what do I do? How do I deal with this? Sign, Mr. Clean, not married to Mrs. Clean. 
That's very funny. Sorry to laugh at your woman. But um, okay, so here's the thing. The 21st century, my friend. So women, all women aren't cooking, like cleaning Molly made sparkling princesses. Like some of us are different kinds of women. And you've been tolerating this for a long enough time, however long you guys are together, because you guys even live together. So you should have put your foot down about this long ago and you didn't. So you've allowed her to believe that this is okay with you. And even if you've been saying it's not okay with you, by your actions, you have been showing that it is okay. So here's what you do. You don't clean up after her. Leave her mess so that pile up, pile up, pile up, right? This may not encourage her to clean up because if she's so dirty as you say, she may not care about that. But let it pile up, pile up, and then confront her about the mess. Because sometimes it might be that she needs some help. Maybe she's having, maybe she's going through a depression. Maybe she has a mental health problem. So doing this will allow you to give her the opportunity to address whatever may be wrong as to why she is living like this, why she's keeping your home like this. Next thing, invite people over without letting her know. Not your family, because you don't want your family judging her or hating her because of how messy she is. Invite her friends, her people, her family. Let them come over unexpectedly and let them confront her about her mess. This might give her the little kick in the bum that she needs to do better, okay? I hope that helps, and if it did not, then you write to me again, and then we shall chat some more. And if you guys watching have any advice for him, then you guys know what to do in the comment section below. Next, guys, is our misconnection. So, our misconnection is what? If you saw someone, so for instance, you saw a woman and you thought, this is my future wife, but you didn't get her contact information, and then you can't get her out of your mind, and all you do is think about her... But then you write to me and I will try my best to find her for you. And like I always say, I already found two. So there's no reason why I can't find any more. So last week we had featured a very long misconnection from a young man who works in Yorkdale Mall in the snack counter at the movie theaters. And he is looking for a woman named Kim who is tall and dark skinned and you were at the movies four Saturdays ago with your little brother who was also named JJ. He knows your little brother's name because you were calling him that. So the tall, dark-skinned guy with a little twist who was working at the snack counter, he can't get you off, your mind, off of his mind, Kim, and he really wants to be with you. And so much so that I have featured his misconnection twice in a row. So if anybody from Toronto knows Kim or knows of her, I hope she is from Toronto, or anybody knows Kim whose little brother is JJ and you know the tall, dark-skinned beauty that she is, Please send her information over to me so I can do my best to see if they are a match for each other. Now it's time for the lover shout out, guys. And what's that? If you want to shout out your boo to let them know what they mean to you, then you write to me and I will do my best to do just that. But if you talk to me nice, then I will do an extra special shout out for your lover, just like this one that I'm about to do. Because typically I do two shout outs a week. This week, I'm just doing one because Mr. Trevor, he came and did the damn thing. Ready, guys? So, this one came from Facebook, and it's from Trevor for Lonnie. Lonnie, my life has not been the same since I met you. Aww. You make me a better man. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You give me all that I need. Ever since the day that we've met, I have been a better person and my life has been better. I can't imagine what my life would be like without you. You are the first thought on my mind when I wake up each day and the last thought on my mind when I go to sleep every night. You are my everything and my world. I love you and I will keep on loving you now and forevermore. Wow. All right, Miss Lonnie, did you hear that from your man Trevor? Make sure tonight you give the man a little extra something something because that was very nice and spicy. So that was it, guys, for the spring cleaning for your relationship. I hope you guys like those points. I hope you guys like what you see. And if you do, then you know what you need to do. You need to hit that like button and hit that subscribe. Ding that bell. So you always know when the love connection is on and popping. But before I let you go, let me leave you with... Taj's thought of the day. Honesty saves 
everyone's time. And another note, guys, let me play a song for you guys. We had this special request, and this song is dedicated to Raj Roger Bailey. So all of you who are watching, if you know who that is, then you know somebody very special sent the song in. And this one is out of Toronto. Shout out to all our Toronto rappers. And it is French featuring Gondras Khan, and the song is called notorious so you guys go ahead and check out this song on youtube yourself give him some likes give him some plays give him some views because this song is hot on and popping and dedicated to my raj thanks for watching guys and see y'all next week